Thank you, Steve. I want to give you a live look here inside the rotunda of the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, where late Arizona Senator John McCain is lying in state. His funeral is tomorrow. Tonight, we're hearing from Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, who's set to serve as one of the 15 pallbearers at tomorrow's service. He and McCain were close friends despite their political differences. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian spoke with Whitehouse a short time ago. She joins us now live in studio with that interview. Kim? Well, Mike Whitehouse tells me he went by the U.S. Capitol this morning to see McCain lying in state. And Whitehouse says despite McCain's status, he says he was very real, a reverent and a loyal friend. It was a friendship that broke political barriers. Now Senator Sheldon Whitehouse is set to serve as a pallbearer at tomorrow's funeral services for Senator John McCain. Reached by phone Friday, Whitehouse says a member of McCain's family called to let him know the late senator's wish. It was kind of a... It struck me pretty hard, let's put it that way. I was very, very, very touched. White House had visited with McCain in Arizona just about a month ago. It was just he and I sitting on the porch with the sun setting and the um, creek rushing by and the birds coming to the bird feeder and telling stories and having fun and saying goodbye. During their time in the Senate, McCain and White House forged a friendship despite their political differences, often serving as each other's travel companion. White House says McCain will leave behind a legacy of kindness, honor, and dignity. I think there's a bit of a feeling that John, perhaps as his last gift, has given us a chance to revive and celebrate those values and speak both to ourselves and to each other about a better America than the one we're seeing right now. And White House will have his chance to say his final farewells to McCain at tomorrow's funeral at the Washington National Cathedral, as well as at the burial at Annapolis on Sunday. But White House tells me with someone like John McCain, you can say goodbye, but he'll never truly be gone. I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.